Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Minecraft. It's actually been over two weeks since I played this game. Then again, I was away for a week, so it makes sense that, you know, it's been so long since I played it. Um, last time around, we made a full enchanted diamond armor set, right? And what we have on this is the, some cool abilities. Fire protection 3, feather falling and protection 4, blast protection 4, and on the helmet, respiration 3 and aqua affinity 1. So, what we're looking to do with that respiration 3 is hopefully going underwater and hopefully by going underwater i'll be able to investigate things like the underwater temples and stuff that i saw earlier on in the game and i never really got to do um what i actually want to see here is i know i have some potions and i think i actually have some underwater breathing potions but i don't know where they are there you go a potion of water breathing potion of water breathing potion of water breathing I have three, three, three minute potions of water breathing. Okay. I'm wondering if I can make more. I wonder if I can get like 10 of these things. So I can actually be underwater for a solid half hour without having any issues with, with, with air. But I don't know how to make potions. That's one thing I actually never figured out is how to make potions in this game. Oh, uh, let's see here. Sea People just did 100-bit cheers. Just, have you heard about the Dreams Early Access? It's the new game for the creators of Little Big Planet. It's $30 on PSN now. Yes, it's user-generated content, but it might make for a good chill stream. Maybe eventually there's no way I'm paying 30 bucks for it now. Ha <laughs> ha. Fuck no. So, Mr. Pablo Vera just cheered. Well, he tried to cheer. It didn't work. But he says basically water has its own biomes. Rivers, shore, oceans... So there's like cold, warm, deep, and frozen. With watercolor, seafloor terrain, life with plants, mobs, and structures, each can be beneficial but equally dangerous. Some are tame and some with dangers. One structure is Ocean Monument and is to be approached with caution. It's deadly to engage ill-prepared. The Ocean Monument, huh? I know there was an Ocean Temple right near me. You know what? Oh, fuck. I'm going to put on my crazy armor set. And just for the sake of exploration purposes, I'm not going to be serious with it right now. Okay? I want to head over here. And if you guys remember, there was like an ocean temple or something that was nearby. If I remember correctly, it was actually like right near where my dock is for, for fishing. I want to see if I could find it again. And if I could figure out where the hell it was, because there was supposed to be treasure and shit down there. But I ended up dying exploring near it, because it sucked me in. It had, like, a vortex that sucked me in, and I couldn't surface. And it completely screwed me over. There it is. That's it. See that lava, or that lava block? That was it. Huh. So I wonder... If I dig all around... Oh, shit. Where the fuck did he come from? I'm getting hit. Oh, what the fuck are you coming from? A bunch of assholes here. I'm wondering if I can finally explore down there. Because, look, my air is going down pretty slow. So, what do I need to actually do that? Do I need, like, a shovel or something? Hmm. I think I need, like, a shovel. A pickaxe and a shovel. Right? <clears throat> hmm. I don't have a shovel. Because I need to dig that shit. Anyway, uh, Sea Peoples, if you know anything about these dreams, I mean... It sounds like something that, that's, again, user-generated content, right? So it could be hit or miss. Um, if you know anything good about it, and you think I should check it out, I'd consider it, but... Oh, my God. Damn, a lot of shit grew. <laughs> uh, I guess I should probably harvest this soon. You know what? I might as well harvest it now. They changed the way wheat looks. You see that? That wheat looks completely different. They changed the icon. Huh. Now that's weird. 
Yeah, wheat looks totally different. It's totally redesigned. Huh. Okay, I'll oh, replant this stuff. Interesting. They must have changed this when they did the big patch a few weeks ago. And they added the shield and everything. They must have changed some of the visuals. I wonder why. There's nothing wrong with how we look. Looked fine to me. Huh. Okay, let's harvest all this shit. Yeah, W Day Day, the update was about a month ago, I would say. And. It added shields and it added other stuff, so apparently one of the things that changed was the way wheat looks. Okay. Potatoes. What taters? Potato shit. I planted the wrong thing. I wanted to replant potatoes, but instead I started planting that. I also need to eat a fish. Oh, yeah? Minara's God says the eShop crashed, so no one can play with Joker tonight in Smash, even though they want to. I'm not surprised. The eShop usually doesn't have a lot of attention on it. To be honest, it usually doesn't. So, tonight is finally a reason for people to actually go on the eShop and download something. It's something that's only available via the eShop, by the way. It's not like you can go buy the Joker in the store. You have to download Joker for Smash. So this does not surprise me at all. Actually, uh, kind of makes sense. All right, Eric just tipped me $4. Says, I love your Minecraft stream. Shout out to Master Saru. Well, thank you very much, Eric, for the $4 tip. And uh, let me get you up on the leaderboard. You're the top tipper of the night. There we go. <clears throat> the dirt looks different, too. Yeah, the dirt has like a different a coloration to it, right? Because it used to just be like pure brown. Hey, you're right. Alright, let's plant. Pretty weird how water is infinite in this game. <laughs> infinite water. It never dries up. It just sits there forever. Only the real world were like that. Then we wouldn't have any droughts or no problems, right? You water whatever you want. It's infinite. <laughs> Damn. Go through here with my friggin' my sickle. Just go sick, 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 sick cutting shit down. Mr. Papa Vera Chu said, The ocean monument is huge. It's hard to miss. You'll know when you see it. One of the things to watch for when exploring the ocean besides the mobs. Some part of the terrain itself can post a threat. When you see a column of air bubbles going down, the source of that is from a magma block. If you get too close to the bubbles, it will pull you down to the depths and drain your air. Which is exactly what happened to me and how I died at that magma block that we just saw underwater. Because supposedly there was an underwater temple there, but I never found it. And I got sucked in by that stupid magma block and got screwed over. Alright, let's restore the stuff I just harvested. There we go. Oh, potatoes. Potatoes. Alright, I have to go to my second my second chest. Oh, Derek, no, I do not have flowers in my garden. However, I have a flower garden in my backyard. Look at this. I have an actual garden just for flowers in my backyard. The different flower types that I found in the game so far. See that? Pretty neat. And I took a few of these out of here to go make the front area. I don't know, if Derek, if you've seen this or not. This is my front fountain centerpiece. Look at this. A cool water water piece or water feature surrounded by beautiful flowers. It's pretty cool. I'll never have anything like that in my real house. <laughs> there we go. Well, it's getting nighttime. I guess I should go sleep. Yo, Shino Lover. What's up, man? You get a 50-bit cheers. Says, man, how's it going? Did you like World War Z so far? I thought it was all right. It's definitely very similar to, say, like, like uh, Left 4 Dead. 
Um, but it seems like it's really short. Like today, I played for like almost four hours, and I beat two and a half of the campaigns. There's only four campaigns, and then there's a little bit of competitive multiplayer, and that's it. That's the whole game. So I don't think there's going to be a lot to the game at all. All right. So now that I harvest it. Oh, wait. I was going to get a shovel. Son of a bitch. I, I need a regular pickaxe and a shovel is what I need. Oh. Uh, no shovel there. Um, here's one. An iron shovel. Only one shovel. And I don't even see like an extra pickaxe. Damn. Because I want to make a pick an extra pickaxe. I just a shitty wooden pickaxe. That's gonna be a piece of garbage. Hmm. I need sticks. I don't have any? I apparently don't have any sticks. No. What the hell? Do you make those do you make those from planks? I don't remember. I'm having a brain fart. I might have to go cut down a few more trees. Oh here we go, birch log. Cody Smith says, if I'm going to go to the Ocean Monument, bring stacks of dirt with you so you can block off water for a safe passage to the treasure. It's the easiest way to do so without dying. It'd be a shame to lose all that enchanted diamond armor for a cheap death. Thing is, I don't know how to do it. Like, you're t I understand you're telling me I could do it, but I have no clue how to do it. <laughs> Here we go. I'll grab three stone pickaxes. Put this armor away. Get it out of my way. Okay. Put one of these pickaxes right here. So take some dirt. Here we go. Some dirt. Take a couple a couple things of dirt. <clears throat> Maybe three. Okay. So Here's the problem of Eritrea again. So you mentioned potions, and that is one thing I recommend before engaging a monument. Making potions requires you to go to the nether. This is something to work on, learning nether survival. The other part is to prepare an ocean monument. is having good diamond gear. You will want high-level enchants like Unbreaking 3, Protection 4. There's a specific enchant you will need to have an inventory for underwater exploration. Oh, really? Well, I've got Unbreaking 3, Respiration 3, Aqua Affinity, Blast Protection 4, Fire Protection 3, Protection 4, and Feather Falling 4. So I have a few already. Oh, shit. So I want to see what I can do over here. <clears throat> I'm going to stay away from that magma block. And I got to try to find where the actual underwater temple is. Watch this. Hello! Sneak attack on the zombie. Where the hell is... Oh, see, here's some of the blocks from the temple right here. There's that magma block. I never found the entrance. Apparently there's a temple right here. But I never actually found the goddamn entrance to it. All I found was that stupid magma block. See? So, how do I get... How, does anyone know how to actually find the entrance to the temple down here? Right? Like, is it anywhere nearby? Is there, How do I tell? Fuck off, die. Oh my god, this guy's fucking face, face headbutting me. An underwater sumo headbutt for like E Honda. Did he die? He's glitched! This dude was glitched, I couldn't hit him. Alright, get me out of here. I don't want to get sucked into that block. Okay. There's a chest buried in the gravel somewhere, but it's not a temple, says Tony Loki. Ah, oh, shit. So I just gotta dig anywhere here, huh?
Oh, look. Oh my god. Where are all these guys coming from? Hundred fucking skeletons. Yeah, it might be here. Look, I started digging. There's a hole. Yeah, look. Oh shit, I found it. What is this? Gold nuggets? Fishing rod and coal. Alright, I guess that's... Is that it? Is that the only thing that's there? Alright, I'm being recommended to go grab a boat. You guys are right. I need a boat. I have a boat. I just didn't take it with me because I'm stupid. Hello, a sin is it Sine? Sine Bolton? Sine Bolton? Sine Bolton? I don't know how to say your name. Tony Lucas says, that was it. The temples are huge. You know, compared to that, that was just a, a one chest. Damn, I, that's the first gold nuggets I've even found in the whole game. Hello, Poopster. How's it going? So I'm going to grab my boat and we're going to go on a, a little adventure. I'm going to go sailing look for underwater stuff. Where is my boat? I know I have one. I just don't remember where I fucking put it. Here it is. There's my boat. I should maybe build another one just to be sure, sure that I have a, I don't get like stranded if one breaks. Um. Yeah. Let me put away some stuff. Look at the C1. That's shitty. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with gold nuggets. I don't know what they're for. Oh my god. Pepsi Hero wants to know my thoughts on global warming. It's this simple. Scientific fact has proven global warming is definitely happening. Of course, the cause, the actual cause of it is up for debate. Some people say absolutely it's because of greenhouse gases that humans have created. Others say that Earth is in an actual natural pattern of heating up normally anyway. If you actually look at the history of the Earth over millions of years, the Earth usually, it actually goes from a series of really hot to cold, to hot to cold, and entire species get wiped out, then, then new ones take over, then they get wiped out again and take over, and it's just a natural thing that happens with the planet. Um, and that people are basically trying to over-exaggerate and pretend like they're so important when in reality it's not that. It's that the, the Earth is just on a natural course of doing it anyway. And we need to ad adapt to survive rather than saying, oh, stop emissions because really it's not the emissions causing it anyway. So I've heard a million things in this regard. Um, but the bottom line is global warming is happening. Scientifically, it's been proven. You can't deny scientific fact. <laughs> All right. Um, What was I doing? I forgot. Oh, I was going to use my boat. I wanted to make a second boat. Hold on. Let me get rid of this stupid thing. I wanted to make a second boat, but I don't remember how. What happened to my wood? I put it away? Oh, fuck. Wood planks. I don't know what you need to make a boat. Shovel. Made a plank. Made two sticks. And you make the friggin' boat. Do I have to make a sh another shovel? Aha! A birch boat. Now I have two boats. A birch boat and an oak boat. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. Are we ready to take on an adventure? Go on a sailing adventure? See what's out here? I should probably wait for the new the next day, huh? I probably should. I should probably just kill some time until the next day and then go fresh on the beginning of a day. What's going on back here with these fucking zombies making noises? Let's go kill some zombies. Hail Kitty says, try making a crossbow. They're more powerful than regular bows and also use arrows. You only need one iron ingot, one tripwire hook, two strings, and three sticks. You have all these already. You're right, I do. Hmm.
I heard that. All right, so I have to go sleep now. Here's another one. It's funny, some of these zombies get stuck and they can't move. They get stuck on stuff. Uh, Mr. Bob Vera's here and he said, if you're planning on looking for an ocean monument, uh, he recommends a few things. Alright, you know what? Let me go sleep. Oh, I have another door. I'm an idiot. Let me sleep and I'll see what he recommends. Alright, he says... A bed? Okay, I should probably make a bed to so sleep in. A map? I have a map. A banner? I don't know even know what that is. A stack of cobble? A stack of logs? A bucket of milk? A boat? Of course, food? A pickaxe? A shovel? And an axe? Bring the conduit that you crafted. It's the item you crafted, the Nautilus shells, and the heart of the ocean. If you do stumble on an ocean monument, I would not get too close just yet. Okay. What do I need? What do I need to bring? Why do I need to bring the conduit? What does that do? What does the conduit do? Anyone know? Let me find it, first of all. I know I have one. A bucket of milk? I don't know how to get a bucket of milk. I have no idea. Do I milk a cow into an empty bucket or something? Do I even have an empty bucket? Oh, I do. Okay. So where's the conduit? Let's see. No. No. That's the heart of the sea. Ender pearl. What the fuck does the conduit look like? I know I have it. I just don't know where the fuck it is. Anyone know where the hell it is? You look a cow by tapping it. Oh, here's the conduit. Well, I don't know what I'm taking it for. Should I go try to milk my cows for the first time ever? Freddy B. Mackin. Just cheered. 200 bit cheer. I said, hey, Phil, what's up, Freddy? Is this Freddy Bosley? You changed your name? Freddy B. Mackin's like Freddy Bosley Mackin, but it's Freddy B. That's cool because I can call you Freddy B now. It's much better than Freddy Bosley. It's too long and formal. All right, cool. It is. That is Freddy. Cool, Freddy. I'll get you up on the leaderboard in a minute. You're the top cheer of the night. All right, so how do I milk my cows? Let's see. I have two buckets of milk. I don't know what they're for, but I have them. <laughs> I don't know what they do, but I milked two cows for the first time. Okay. How do I, oh. How do I get out? There we go. Nice. How's everyone doing? My pigs are doing good now? Yeah, my pigs are fine. My sheep's still doing all right? I want to check on them. Yeah, they look good. They're doing good. They got enough grass to eat. Yeah, they're fine. All right, so let's see. He said a bed. I need to make a bed. I definitely need to make a bed. I agree there. You should have over cheer. He said, are you planning on adding anything else to your house, like a bedroom? That would be cool. Eventually, maybe. As you see, my bedroom is kind of like the same as my main room. Everything's in the same area. So maybe eventually I'll, I'll, uh, I'll fix that. I totally forgot I have a back door. I should make a bed. I don't know how you make a bed. Mr. Bravavera says the helmet you have is okay. The one recommendation, definitely average your boots should have Death Strider. Level 3 if possible. The conduit will be very useful to build on top of the monument, especially once you have no potions. What? What are you talking about? What monument? Hmm. 
I'll bet it's three wool and three wooden planks. Thank you, Derek. I'm gonna make that right now. I know I have three wool. White wool. And three wooden planks. Boom! Made a white bed. So I can put that down to sleep whenever I need to, right? Jackie Swerve says, I just saw Creed 2. Rocky is still the best around. They had, they were, that was one of the movies they were actually showing on my flight. Um, I ended up watching uh, Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. And it was really good. I actually really liked that movie a lot. And a lot of people, of course, last year or, or early this year said it was an amazing movie. I don't think it's like an amazing, oh my god, blew me away movie, but it was still pretty good. I really liked it. Okay. All right, so we got a bed. That one's down. A banner? Here's a white banner. All right, I made two banners. So a stack of cobble and a stack of logs. Let's put some stuff away here. Oh, no. Actually, I'm taking all this with me. Stack of logs. A stack of cobble. There you go. Food and a pickaxe. I got that. I'll probably grab some more food, too. Shovel and an axe. Yeah, I should have an axe. You're right. Just in case. There we go. Oh, my God. Excuse me. Do I have Depth Strider? I think I do. Let's find it. Oh, Death Strider 3, I have it. So you said try to put down my pants or my boots. Let's see here. Oh, fuck, I have them on. I can do it right now. Should I do it? Death Strider? Put it on my boots? Yeah, Mr. Proverbs is perfect. Alright, seven levels. I'll do it. Boom. Done. Death Strider. Whatever that does. Whatever that does, I've got it now. Nice. I don't know what it does, but it's good now. <laughs> You're right, I do need to eat some fish. Oh shit, I'm too... <laughs> too close. Eat those fish. I gotta grab some more cooked food. Let's see what I got. A ton of raw. Raw. Cooked. There we go. Now I got more than enough. <laughs> the problem now is I have so much of my inventory. If I find anything good, I have very little inventory space to put it in. This is the problem. When, oh, I'm going on a trip. Look how much shit I'm taking with me. Here's the problem of Eric cheered again. He said, the banner you can use with the map, you can craft a banner now and place it anywhere near your house. After you place the banner, hold your map in your hands and use lift trigger on the banner with your map. Huh? We're going to have to try this again. Pla craft a banner now and place it anywhere near your house. All right. All right, here. There it is. It's floating. After you place the banner, hold your map in your hands and you've left trigger on the banner with your map. Nothing. It doesn't do anything. Nope. Fred Flintstone Cheery said, What do you feel about the workers of the world uniting under one big red banner? Are you talking about the proletariat? <laughs> uh, let's not start talking about that. You have to click on the hitbox. Look, I'm right on it. Nothing happens. I'm not sure what you mean. Look, nothing. 
I'm clicking everywhere. It doesn't do anything. Does this have to be on the wall and not floating like that? I can't even take it down. Uh... I don't know, man. Nothing, nothing happens. I can't even knock it. Look, I can't even get rid of it. Oh, there we go. I did. De-equip your shield. Still doesn't do anything. Look. Nothing. Doesn't work. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh... Why are we doing this? It doesn't do anything. Derek, I have no idea what this is supposed to do. <laughs> Game of Gal Cheater says, You can't be a pro streamer or a pro gamer without being the pro of the proletariat. Yeah, okay. Tony Lucas says this only works in the Java version. Well, I guess I can't do whatever this is. So there's no point in creating these, these banners. They were worthless, huh? Apparently the banners were worthless. They don't do anything for me. Well, off to sleep again. <laughs> off to sleep again. Karma says it's supposed to mark your map with the banner. Well, it doesn't do anything. How is married life as Gokan Reeve? It's pretty much identical to my life before I was married. Nothing's changed at all. <laughs> it's the same life. So, are we done then? I guess I'll put the banners away. These are now worthless banners. I'll put this wool away as well. And these sticks. And I'll re-equip my shield. Even I don't remember how to use it. Okay. Did I give up on Sekiro? No, I beat it. I beat Sekiro. The ending of the game was super easy for me. I beat it in 15 minutes when everyone else took like hours to beat it. I beat it in 15 minutes. And then I started a uh, new game plus for an hour and I was turboing through beating all the bosses' asses and people were like, wow, this is boring because Phil's not dying anymore. So they don't want me to play it anymore. Go figure. Um, Yes, anonymous donor. Who tipped me a dollar? I did hear about the Xbox One S All Digital Edition, and I couldn't give less of a damn about it. I use my Xbox One Regular Edition so so infrequently. Why on earth would I want the Xbox One S Digital Edition? Okay, so I guess we're going to go in a boat and explore for a bit. Why not? Why not go explore the seven seas for a little bit? Shit. 
All right, we're in. Let's just go go for a little a little cruise and see what we want to see. I know there was an ocean monument slash temple around here somewhere. I had seen it previously, but I never did anything with it. Is that one right ahead of me? I think I see. It looks like a little like a temple building right directly ahead of me, underwater there. I could be wrong, but I want to check it out. Mr. Bubba Vera says, damn, the difference with Bedrock and Java is frustrating. Yeah, look, this is a building. Right here, look. This is an underwater building. I should check this out. How do I get in without getting fucked up? There's a stupid lava block there. I don't want to get sucked in by the lava block. Look what I found. Ow, that hurt me. Oh, no, it was this motherfucker. Where did he come from? I was like, that hurt? Oh, no. It fucking damaged me. While I was trying to fucking mine it, it damn it. The stupid fucking zombie damaged me. What an asshole. No. Oh, you can't harvest it when you do that? Well, I'm not sure what to do. I'm going to get sucked down by this stupid block, which I don't want to. I know there's a chest down there. Here, let me go back up again. I know there's a chest. Oh, use your diamond pick, not stone on those? Well, that sucks. I just wrecked two of the things I needed, didn't I? Oi! You son of a bitch. Fuck off. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> look at this. Look how tricky this shit is. Can I break through the wall over here? Yeah, I can. Look, fuck that. Nice. Lure one and a bunch of fucking wheat. I don't even want this. What do I want the wheat for? What a waste of time. Wheat of all things? It sucks. The two things that I wanted, I broke. I wanted those light cube things because those are the rare light source, right? And I fucking broke it. I broke the goddamn thing. Yo, look. Prismarine crystals? That's something different. I don't know what that is. I don't want these. Get rid of these. Mossy stone blocks. These are on my fucking inventory. Get this stupid shit. This stupid rotten flesh out of here, too. Okay. Where's my boat? Well, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up immediately. I needed that light block, and I fucked it up. Shout out to DJ Atomica, who went from a Twitch Prime sub to a Tier 1 sub. Thank you very much, DJ Atomica, for the sub. I appreciate that. You need a silk, silk touch pickaxe to, to mine the lanterns? Well, I don't have that. <laughs> Derek says he's off the bed. Is there no music in Minecraft? Oh, there is. But in this version, it doesn't play consistently. It's pretty random when it plays. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, it'll just start playing music. So I guess we'll head out here and start looking for temples and stuff, right? Dig into it, you'll find more stuff. Oh, Freddie B. Mackin, you're right. My bad, dude. Freddie B. Mackin is the top cheer, the 200 bit cheer. Thank you for telling me. It's my fault. I got all cut up with the, the new stuff I'm doing tonight in Minecraft, and I stopped paying attention to the leaderboard. That's totally my fault. Here comes some music. Here you go, Derek. You were wondering. I know you're taking off for the night, but here's some music. 
This is all the watery areas. That's where I just came from. The dolphin, right? So I had already sailed out here very early on when I was playing this, but I didn't have a map. Well, I did have a map, but it, I guess I lost it eventually. Because I knew out here there was a... Uh, there's definitely underwater ocean monument out here somewhere. I remember seeing it was glowing. And at the time, people were telling me, Oh, shit, an ocean monument. That'll be good for later. But, uh... I never went back. Probably out here somewhere. Battlefield 5 has only 1.3... 1,300 viewers. Rest in peace. Dude, that game was dead on arrival. That game was seriously dead on arrival. No one cares about that game. Someone was trying to convince me, like, like a couple weeks ago to buy it. They're like, oh, get it now. The Battle Royale's out. And, you know, it's on. It's cheap now. It's on discount. You can buy the play the Battle Royale. I don't, no, one, no one cares. That game was an epic fucking fail. They fucked it up on every level. Not seeing any any more underwater temples or anything. A dolphin swimming with me. That's cool. Right? This isn't one. No, this is just an island. Swim with the dolphins. If you remember, my very first time I went in a boat, I just started running randomly into treasures. It was like totally lucky. I was getting all, like, all these rare items and shit. I think that's how I got some of my items to make the conduit. Dolphin sounds like a stuffy nose. Go to the open water far from the land. Okay, that's this way. You can actually see where it drops off, the ocean floor. Sean Irish 420 just to me two dollars and says, "Can I get unbanned?" Sean Irish, I don't know who you are, and doing that is not the way to do it. You have to email me at darksidefellahotmail.com or you have to you know, talk to a mod. Sending me a random tip during a stream is not going to get you unbanned. I'm sorry, that's not how it works. Uh oh, it's going to be nighttime soon. You can't sleep in a boat, can you? <laughs> I can't put my bed down in the boat and sleep in it. Haley Kitty says if you craft multiple crossbows, you can, you can shoot, like, repeated non-stop arrows. I didn't make a crossbow yet. I, I might. It's one of the, the things, the new things I didn't do yet. Not seeing much here. Should I sleep? Should I head over to this, uh, this land and sleep and then head further out? Maybe. Maybe, maybe it's a good idea. Mr. Papa Vera says, if you go to a village and you find a cartographer, you can trade a ton of rubies and shit um, and get a map that's it's like an ocean map that'll show you where like the ocean monuments and stuff are. That's interesting. There we go. This asshole. Fuck off. Fuck off, I say. So that's my new respawn point, because I slept there, huh? That's cool. Okay. I didn't know that when you sleep somewhere, that's your new respawn point. I never even tried that before. Well, it looks to me like I'm going to be reaching the limits of my map. So far, not seeing much. And I guess, you know, pretty impossible to see underwater, so. I know for a fact I'd seen an ocean monument before. 
Because I pointed it out, I was like, wow, that's cool. It's glowing underwater. I wonder what's under there. And everyone told me it was an ocean monument. And, you know, I could go back later to do it. Yoshino Lover just shoot us. I'm off dude. I'm with Minecraft. Gonna watch you play World War Z. All right, Yoshino, thank you. See you later. Enjoy World War Z. Very Left 4 Dead esque. Oh. Mr. Papa Vera says once you break the bed, you lose the respawn point, but it's fine because you're only using it to advance time and sleep. Right. So now I guess my respawn point will be back at the house, right? No, probably back at the, the, the original, the origin part of the game, I bet. The origin point. Oh, a fish just appeared out of nowhere. Shit, you know what I forgot? A fishing pole. Because totally if it starts raining, I should start fishing. And I didn't fucking bring a fishing pole with me. That was stupid. I should have. That was really dumb. Not seeing any ocean monuments. How was World War Z, asked Timbo? It was alright. It was like I said, it's very much incredibly similar to Left 4 Dead, only it's third person. People were saying the graphics look like the division, but I don't know because I never played the division. It was fun, but at the same time, like after you beat all the stages once, I don't know if you have any like real reason to want to go back and play it again. It it didn't seem as fun as like Left 4 Dead used to be. Where you get hooked and you want to play as the different classes or characters, you know? Like, it didn't seem as good as that. I guess what you're supposed to do is get hooked and wanting to unlock new weapons and stuff for your character, but... Eh. Uh, Uzi. Did I have a MySpace account? And if I did, does it still exist? I don't think I ever had a formal MySpace account. No. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Cody Smith says you don't need to fish every rain session, and beef steaks are better food items than fish. True, but the thing is, number one, I love fishing. It's relaxing. Number two, I get great items for fishing because I have a really good fishing pole that I left back home. Number three, you gain tons of experience for fishing. It's the main way that I gain experience points to do stuff. So every opportunity that it rains, I do want to fish if I can. Um, as for steaks, I know you're correct. I just have a ton of fish from fishing, so that's what I've been eating. Tony Loki, you did 100-bit cheers. If you make a copy of your map, you can leave one at home in case you lose it. Have a good night. Thank you, Tony Loki, for the advice. Vote Democrat did a 222-bit cheer and subscribe to PewDiePie. He's the top cheer of the night now. TM52 Twitch just reset for three months. He's R matey. Congrats on everything. How's today going? What's the plan for tonight's craft? What's going on since 6 p.m.? Well, um, what we're doing is I have Munu gear that's catered to underwater exploration. Like, I don't run out of air right away anymore. So I'm looking for stuff underwater to, to try to explore and find, like underwater temples and maybe an underwater monument. Haven't found anything yet. I found one quick temple where there was a chest, and I grabbed the chest, and there really wasn't anything good in it. Um, so right now I'm just kind of relaxing, going around, seeing what I can find, chilling. <clears throat> Quite frankly, I should go back home, and I should get a, ro a, a fishing rod. That was a big oversight on my behalf. I should have got a fishing rod. I don't know why I didn't. That was pretty stupid. King of Gulf says he just went 25-0 and 0 in League of Legends. And he hasn't booted up the game in two months started playing at 25 win streak. Well, good for you. I've never played it before. I know nothing about it. And then I'm going to head back home just to grab a fishing rod just in case. Like I said, that would be a really big missed opportunity if I couldn't fish. Because I could gain like 10-15 levels just by fishing. So I'm going to head back, and then I'm going to head out again. Vote Democrat Cheery says, is there any reason you don't like PewDiePie? Um, it's not like I dislike the guy or his content, but I hate to say it, PewDiePie became the quintessential, oh, he's the YouTube gamer. Everyone knows PewDiePie is the biggest gamer on YouTube. And sadly, he just didn't represent gamers very well with the shit that he did. Saying racist stuff and getting, getting, basically making gamers in general look bad. 
he basically didn't act responsibly in a lot of the stuff that he did over the years. And it made us as a whole look bad. And I don't like that. Like, he knew he was the biggest gamer. He knew he was making millions of dollars a year. And he should have fucking wised up and acted more mature than a lot of the shit that he did. And because of this, you know, a lot of us have suffered on YouTube because of guys like him acting like idiots. Um, and I'm not talking about his content. Listen, he got popular screaming at a camera, acting like a little sissy girl playing horror games. Okay, that was his thing. And it made him wildly, virally popular. And since then, he's completely changed who he is and the content he puts out there, whatever. But the bottom line is he knew that the eyes of the world were scrutinizing him. And he made so many mistakes, you know, making us just look stupid. That now, I hate to say it, I felt like he was like two steps forward, 20 steps back. You know? So, and a lot of the reasons that we have a lot of the monetization and stuff on YouTube is because of the actions of people like him. I hate to say it. Not to say that, oh my god, I'm so angry at him and shame on him. But it's true. Like, just because of stuff that happened with him, a lot of coming, oh, I don't want to deal with the ads on YouTube anymore. If a guy like PewDiePie is saying the N-word and, you know, doing all this racist stuff. Which is ridiculous because he never really did that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like he, I did a special where I said the N-word 42 times. It, it never happened. But, you know, everything that, that you do when you have this, the eyes of scrutiny on you gets blown completely out of proportion. And every little thing that he ever did got put under a microscope. And so, he made mistakes, and those mistakes reflected badly on all of us as, as gamers on YouTube and the like, to the point where now ad revenue has fallen out, and you can't make a living on YouTube anymore doing gameplay videos. So, it sucks. And yeah, he is, I mean, I, I don't want to blame him directly, but he is kind of responsible for a lot of that. So, it's just an inevitability of being the big guy, and he really didn't play it carefully or play it smart. Instead, he just did stupid shit that made all of us suffer, and that's why I kind of have resentment towards him. Personally, I know nothing about the guy. I don't know anything about the guy as a, as, a, as a person or anything like that. I don't watch his content. All I know is the stuff that he's done has hurt others. So, there you go. Uh -uh. Uh, the game lover, Timmy a Dollar, says, I recently subscribed to WWE to watch WrestleMania due to listening to a podcast that mentioned women's main event. I also watch Elimination Chamber for women's tag team. What's your take on the women's division being more vivid and interesting than men's? Good. That's a good thing. Because I hate to say it, pro wrestling was such a good old boys club and honestly ended up getting really stagnant, in my opinion, with just the dudes. Always at the top. Only, only focus on the dudes. So to actually have a serious women's division and everything is pretty cool. Um, I just hope they keep it up and I hope they expand. And I hope that they take more than the three women seriously. Because I hate to say it right now, it's like Charlotte, Becky, and... Um, and Ronda Rousey, and that's it. Like, no other woman is, is taken seriously whatsoever. Asuka's brushed under the rug and drops the title right before WrestleMania for no fucking reason. You know what I mean? Like, we don't want that. We want variety. We want it to be taken as seriously as the men, where you get a big, wide roster of people who all get chances to do fun stuff. We just don't want the same three women. So I hope that WWE realizes that. So far, I see nothing underwater at all. Um, vote Democrat did 100-bit choose. He's not a gamer, though. You don't think PewDiePie is a gamer? <laughs> okay. Oh, whatever. Poopster cheered. He says, I really wish someone mature and with morals like you was the face of gamers and making millions. You know, it just sucks. Because I've, go I've gone through so much shit. And it's like, it would be one thing if I was a millionaire like PewDiePie with all the shit that I've gone through. But I'm not. Instead, I'm the opposite. I'm in terrible financial, you know, problems. And horrible credit. And everything's fucking awful. So much debt in my name. I know it's never going to get better. Like, it's going to take years and years of my credit getting worse and worse to finally get better. There's no way out of this. There's no way I could pay back what I fucking owe at this point. Um, and it sucks. It really does. It sucks because you're right. Like, I, I really feel that if I had been put into a giant position of, like, power, like PewDiePie was, I probably would have done a better job. I'm just saying. And I'm not saying, you know anything about money or whatever. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm smarter than that. What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ, scared me. I'm smarter than that. You know, the second that I start making millions of dollars is the day I stop fucking saying anything risque. <laughs> Seriously. I'm not going to chance that shit. Mr. Papa Vera cheered us to something about the monument. There's two unique mobs, a guardian and an elder guardian. Each monument has three elder guardians. They're larger variant. When you get in range of the monument, you'll see an overlay of the elder guardian and hear a gong sound. You get negative effect of mining fatigue. It inhibits your ability to break blocks and use melee. The milk cancels all status effects. The mining fatigue stops when you kill all Elder Guardians. Good lord, this sounds complicated. 
Well, it's time for me to sleep. I gotta find somewhere to stop here. I guess I can sleep right up here. There we go. Nice. What the fuck? Where'd you come from? Get away from my boat, you fucker. Both of you. Two assholes. What the fuck? Get out of my boat! Why are you sitting in my boat? What a fucking asshole. <laughs> you know, I really wish that I could... Can I save the game here? Yeah, because I want to update the leaderboard. But you can't pause this fucking game for some reason. It's like Dark Souls. You can't pause it. All right, so I want to get... Uh, vote Democrat on the leaderboard. He's the top cheerer right now. Thank you for somebody adding me for a 90-bit cheer. I appreciate that. But it's actually Vote Democrat with a 222-bit cheer. Fuck. Okay. 